The QNIQ zones, also known as VLAN stacking or 802.1 AD, it is an advanced networking solution in Proxmox Software Defined Network. QNIQ allows for the encapsulation of one VLAN tag inside another, enabling deeper segmentation of the network traffic. This dual tagging mechanism is particularly useful for the service providers and the organizations that require high granular network isolation across large or multi-tenant environment. Use case could be the service provider network, ideal for the ISPs or the cloud providers who need to segment customer traffic securely while managing multiple tenants over the shared physical infrastructure. For example, multiple departments, tenants or customers using the same VLAN ID as yours. So it creates the hierarchical network, enables the creation of nested network segments, allowing for the fine grained traffic management. Let us talk about the key features, double tagging, which means that each packet is tagged with two VLAN IDs, the inner tag for the tenant specific VLAN segmentation, outer tag for the broader network segmentation by the service provider or the organization. Extends the effective VLAN ID space by allowing a reuse of the inner VLAN IDs with the separate outer VLANs. It provides the high level of traffic isolation, ensuring that the tenant or department traffic remains secure and separate. It requires, of course, the network switches and routers that support QNIQ 802.1 AD. And of course, there is increased complexity, which means that you need to configure and manage QNIQ, which will be a challenging uh, than standard VLAN configurations. And of course, there is performance overheads because double tagging may introduce slightly performance overheads in heavily loaded networks. So let us talk about the configuration. So the outer tag is added by the service provider or the administrators to the packet arriving with an inner tag from the customer or department. So network devices, switches, routers must be configured to recognize and process QNIQ traffic forwarding packets based on both tags. So QNIQ is typically implemented on trunk ports connecting different network segmentation or data centers. So when to choose? Choose the QNIQ for multi-tenant environment with overlapping VLAN IDs, scenarios requiring customers or department specific VLAN isolation, on the top of provider level segmentation. So in real world example, a service provider offers network services to multiple companies. Each company uses its own VLAN, for example, VLAN 100, VLAN 200. To avoid conflicts, the provider encapsulates these VLANs with outer VLAN tag. For example, VLAN 10 for company A, VLAN 20 for company B, and it ensures that each tenant traffic is isolated, even if their inner VLAN ID overlaps. So let us see how we can do the configuration of QNIQ in Proxmox virtual environment.